Hi, I'm Carlos. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how Buen Camino de Santiago works, the app most used by pilgrims. When you download the app, you need to select the language, choose a route and accept the privacy policies. If you don't know which route to choose, it will automatically download the shortest, the Camino del Bastan. When you open the route, it shows you the first location. Whenever you open the app, it'll connect to the database to provide you with the most up-to-date information. Each screen shows you information on the town, important notices, accommodations sorted into categories, tourist offices, points of interest and the available services. You can click on any of the sections for more information. In the accommodation section, you'll also find ratings left by other pilgrims and a link to make a reservation through booking, which is very useful between March and October when some get fully booked. Finally, you have access to the map, profile, legend, and direct contact with us. If there is a video of the location, you'll be able to watch it by clicking on the icon in the photo. It will also show you the current temperature in the location, and if you click on it, it'll show the temperatures for the upcoming days. You can browse different places by swiping the screens left or right. In the bar at the top, there is a switch you need to keep on when you're on the pilgrimage as it ensures the app remains accurate and gives you geolocalized alerts. You'll also find a useful search function for locations. Several functions are activated when you're on the pilgrimage. You'll see this symbol which will show you information about the location you're in if you click on it. A blue and white bar will also show you the distance from where you are now to the center of the next town. It will also show your location on a yellow line representing the route profile, and the route planner will show you how many kilometers you are from the end of the stage. Let's take a look at the menu. The first section is help and advice. That's me. Here, we've provided answers to frequently asked questions and direct access to my WhatsApp apart from on holidays. I try to answer messages on the same day. Next up in the guide is the route in detail, where you'll find much more information about the route divided into stages. The index of localities contains a list of the towns in order and the distances between them. Some appear several times as alternate routes are included. Next, we have the route profile. If you're following that route, you'll see a button to show you where you are on the profile at that moment. The map of the route will show you the route, detours and all geolocalized points. You can change the map layer, stop seeing certain or all points and see where you are. Your position updates every two minutes, but you can also click on the button to geoposition yourself. The Stage Planner is an essential tool to organize each section as you prefer. It comes with a default plan, but you can edit it, delete it, or create new stages. When you're creating your route plan, you first need to choose which variants you're going to follow en route, and then you can select locations. Remember that when you add a detour, you'll need to create your stages again, this time with the towns included on these alternate routes. The Pilgrim's Guide features 35 meditations based on Bible verses to accompany you on your pilgrimage. The next section explains how to pay for the app. In the spirit of the way of St. James, you can choose between several options. You can even use the app for free if you are unable to pay for it. I'd like to take the chance to thank you for your contribution. It helps us to keep the app running, up to date and continually improving. The final three sections provide more information about how to participate in the opening of churches for pilgrims, access our YouTube channel or request backpack transportation from another company. What's more, on some routes you can download the maps on your phone so you can access them when you don't have internet. Afterwards, you can choose another guide from the 30 we have available. In settings, you can change the language, distance measurement, check accommodation prices on other dates, allow notifications and select whether or not you'll be going by bike. This last option will give you a different default plan with stages and detours suggested for cyclists appearing in green on the map. In information contact, you can see how to contact us. Finally, notices stores all the notifications you receive. 
If you have any further questions, let me know through the WhatsApp number on the app or by leaving a comment on this YouTube video. Buen Camino.